I'm so glad you're here today. Well, on the screen anyway. Let's get started. We're gonna go right to the flag holder pledge leader. Do you have a flag at your house? If you do, you can go grab it right now. If not, that's okay, you can use mine. Go ahead and put your hand on your heart where Jesus lives and let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Perfect, first job of the day. The next job is the calendar coordinator. We still have April up there with all those umbrellas. Did it rain last week at your house? We talked about that on one of my notes I sent you. Let's count our umbrellas. Can you make sure you count out loud with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Today is Monday, April 20th. All the way, we're almost at the end of the month. I wonder what month will be next. Okay, our next job of the day is the meteorologist. So go run to one of your windows and check the weather. Can you go see what it is? I'm gonna go check the weather over there. Oh, it's a little bit different today. It's not rainy where I'm at, but it is windy and warm. Windy and warm. Both of those start with the letter W. Windy and warm. I wonder what the weather is at your house. Okay, morning message maker. Let's write our message. And I always start with a greeting. And our greeting today is good morning friends and something important i want to tell you today is that i miss seeing you at school that's my message i miss seeing you at school that was something I wanted to make sure I told you today. All right, our last, oh, you know what we didn't do yet, friends, and I wanna do it different today. I wanna see who's here. So I'm gonna hold up the stars, but I'm not gonna do it the way we usually do it. I'm gonna hold it up, and I'm gonna hold up one color at a time. So the first color I'm gonna do is red. Do you remember if your star was red? If it is, watch for your name, and don't forget to call out when you see it. Emery. Sloan, Milan, Beck. That's all my red friends. One, two, three, four. Did you see your name? The next color I'm gonna do is orange. Do you remember if your star was orange? Hunter, Scotland, Kinley, Sam, back to the beginning. How many orange stars do we have? One, two, three, four. The same number of orange as red. The next color is yellow. Do you remember if your star was yellow? Noah, Truen, Luca. That's where we started. One, two, three. We have three yellow stars. That's less than we had red and orange. Our next color is green. Do you remember if your star was green? Take a look and see if you can find it. Do you know whose name is on the first one? Mabel, Ainsley, Caleb, Tyler, Callahan, back to Mabel. Did you see your name yet? Let's count how many green stars we have. One, two, 
three, four, five. We have five green stars, we have three yellow stars, and we have four red and orange. We still have more stars. The next color we're gonna do is blue. Let's see if your name is on a blue star. Bolden. William. Archer. Crew. Remy. Graham. Emmy. Back to Bolden. How many blue stars do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue stars. That's the most we've had of any color. We have one color left. So if you haven't seen your star yet, it might be in this one. Do you know what color is left? Purple, good job. The first friend is Gracie, Dominic, Jana, Amelia. How many purple stars? One, two, three, four. Purple, there are four stars. Okay, now that we know who's here, let's open our box. Knock, knock, what's in our box? Let's see what we have. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I made that. Now that I look at it, hmm, I would think it looked like an elephant, but it has how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. I think it might be a bug. Hmm, let's see what else we have. Oh, a basket full of colored shapes. Oh, that looks like fun. I wonder what we'll do with that today. Oh, hmm, all of our shape signs. Oh, look at these. I made a couple of bugs. Oh. A spoon. is red and it has blue legs. How many legs does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many eyes does mine have? One, two. And down here are true words from the Bible. All creatures great and small, the Lord God made them all. Words from the book of Genesis. Oh, here's my book. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Look how fun that is. I'll read that to you in just a few minutes. I want to show you some more of what we have here. I want you to help me talk about what our shapes are. So the first shape is Susie Circle. What color is Susie? Did you say red? Susie Circle, big and round. All I do is roll around. Oh, do you remember who this is? What color is it? Purple, good. Tommy Triangle. Tommy Triangle, proud as can be. Count my sides, one, two, three. Tommy Triangle. Oh, do you remember this one's name? Sandy Square. What color is Sandy? Blue. Sandy Square is my name. My four sides are all the same. One, two, three, four. They're all straight and the exact same length. Oh, do you remember who this shape is? Ricky Rectangle. Say that for me. Ricky Rectangle. Ricky Rectangle, don't get me wrong. Two sides short and two sides long. One, two short, one, two long. On this rectangle, the short sides are vertical. The long sides are horizontal. 
Ricky Rectangle. Is he green? We just learned this one. Ollie Oval. Ollie Oval is my name. The circle and I are not the same. The circle is round as round can be. I'm shaped like an egg as you can see. Ollie looks like an oval, like an egg. Is Ollie orange? Ollie oval is orange. Oh, who's this? Danny Diamond. I'm Danny Diamond. I have four sides. All of them are diagonal lines. They're straight, but they're diagonal. Four diagonal lines. Danny Diamond. Oh, we learned this one at Valentine's Day. Do you remember? Happy Heart. And Happy Heart is pink. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Do you remember that song? I love it. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. You can try and sing that for your family. Our last shape, special star. We learned about this at Christmas time. Remember all the stars that reminded us that Jesus was born on Christmas? I have five points to help me show baby Jesus is born below. One, two, three, four, five. What color is this star? Red. Those are the shapes that we learned while we were coming to school. So I think you probably know them. Now, I thought maybe you had some toys or things at home that you could build bugs out of. So try and build some fun bugs with maybe your sister or your mom, and you can show me those. This I made with paint. I took my paper and I folded it in half. Fold it in half and rub it as hard as you can, just like that. And then I used a spoon and I put some paint right in the middle of my fold. And I turned it over and then I used those muscles that God made and I rubbed it as hard as I could and pushed it together, rubbed it, rubbed it, rubbed it. And when I picked it up, there was a bug. I didn't know what shape it would be, but it was kind of exciting. You can use one color or more than one color. How do you think I made these legs? I put my fingers in some blue paint and I put my legs on there. My bug has two eyes. Maybe you could put some eyes on your bug too. Remember it's your bug so you can make it any way you want. But it's kind of a fun thing to do. So maybe you can do that. It's called ink block, ink blot painting. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you is I have this basket, remember? It's full of shapes. And I thought maybe we could make some bugs out of them. What shape is this? It's a circle, a yellow circle. One, two, three. It kind of looks like a bug. If you had some small pieces, you could put some eyes on. You can make your bugs any way you want. You could make a bug like this maybe. Is that a diamond? It is. Oh, look here, you can put this for an eye. Sure. Another circle for an eye. You can make a bug with a rectangle body. Oh, more small circles. They're lavender, a color of purple, and I can put some dots on my red rectangle. You can make a bug any way you want and decorate it. It looks kind of fun. Do another red rectangle. If I had little pieces, I'd put legs on. But I want you to make some bugs the way that you think it would be fun. And then, if you have some cut out of paper, you can use different shapes to make bugs like this too. That's all I have for today. So have a great week. And don't forget, if you need anything, you can email me or text me or send me pictures anytime. Tell your mom and dad I said hi too. Have a great week.